I welcome you all on platform of your PD education and uh, uh, this my video is for all those students who are doing MTech in the final semester or they have already done MTech and they are planning to go for PhD uh, in uh, respective domain. Now, uh, PhD either you can do from India or you can do from abroad. After MTech, doing PhD from abroad is also a very very good option. I mean. Uh, maximum expenditure is 1 to 1.5 lakh and you get a very good scholarship up to $2,000 in which your maximum expenditure is up to $1,000. So, uske liye alag se mein ek total video banaunga that how after MTech you can go for PhD abroad and uh, in my opinion the best uh, advantage of having master's degree in engineering or technology or uh, master's degree in some another uh, domain of uh, uh, knowledge uska best benefit ye hai ki it is a ticket for you to launch yourself abroad for phd with the scholarship now but this video is not for abroad this video is for uh, india those of you who have done mtech or who are in the final semester of mtech and planning to go this summers into phd courses PhD courses in IITs, uh, IACs, IIITs, NITs and other such reputed institutes uh, including IIMs, those who want to go for PhD uh, after MTech, uh, uh, how they can go for that and what is the procedure for that. Uh, you know many students think that for going for PhD after MTech, they require GATE score. Let me tell you GATE score is not required if you already have done mtech then what is required after mtech to get into phd is you need to have really good cgpa like 8 plus cgpa for general category you need to have a good uh, thesis on the basis of that you can make very good research statement jisko sor bolte hai, statement of research research proposal yes research statement ya statement of research and uh, that statement of research is more or less on the basis of your thesis and what you want to do and you should also have identified the department and professor in particular institute where you want to do phd and un professors ka research work uh, you are to link with your own thesis work so if you can make that link and drop mail to the professor and tell professor i want to work under you then you can go there for phd now depending upon different suit iic iits etc mtech ki alag alag criteria hai like kuch institutes mein i believe like in iit delhi there is only direct interview they will call you on the basis of your credentials btech uh, sorry mtech percentage they will call you and directly interview will be there or interview mein they will see what thesis you have done and what work you want to do so your matching your work with the professor's work is very very important in that after mtech to phd in some institute they will go for a written test like in iit ropad and all there is a written test in some institute written test is a technical test and in some institute written test is only uh, aptitude test simple aptitude test so that all form of uh, uh, options are available in my opinion those students who have 8 plus cgpa in mtech irrespective of from which institute they are they, they have very good opportunity to land up in phd courses now uh, why they should go in PhD courses? Uske liye alag se kabhi discuss karunga. Lekin you understand misconception jo hai PhD ke saath wo main briefly tumhe bata deta hoon. Pahli baat PhD mein jane se logon ko hi lagta hai ki saab PhD mein hum chale jayenge to hum grieb ho jayenge. Mar paas to job nahi karenge aur scholarship mere ko kam milega. Pahli baat scholarship is very good. I mean 30,000 plus scholarship you can get and uh, uh, hostel mein rehna hai, contingency milta hai, toh there are my students who are saving up to 25,000 monthly. Monthly 25,000 you can only save if you are getting a salary or job of 45 to 50,000 rupees because you have to stay outside where uh, rent and uh, food is very costly. So 30,000 in PhD is as good as 45,000 outside as a job. That is one part. Second, they think that PhD mein 5 saal lag jayega. Believe me, after MTech, PhD may aapko 3.5 average years lagte hain, but if you are, if you do really good you can do that in three years third misconception is that sir after PhD teaching is the only option left that is if you do not do PhD seriously then there is a uh, thing which you can say but if you do PhD really good then all the options are available final option and uh, one of the best option is after PhD if you have done really good you can go for postdoctorate fellowship 
abroad and that is just like a job only in foreign universities so you can go for that also so after i'm tech to phd so many advantages see some of you who have already decided or already made up the mind to go for uh, you know, higher education phd they are convinced they already know that i need not to convince you for that this is your call not my call this uh, video i'm only telling you that those who want to go from mtech to phd they need not to have a gate score they only need to prepare on those things i mean their thesis their research proposal identification of the professor applying in many places preparing for written exam if at, that is there and preparing for interview and uh, you know, basically uh, contacting the professor and all that is what they have to do and they can land up in phd courses in india that is what they can do now uh, uh, we as uh, this this i was i wanted to show you this uh, this industrial engineering and operation research department iit bombay is one of the departments because i just made a video for that guiding video so i wanted to tell you if you want to do phd in this then there are eligibility is this for phd either you should have masters degree in engineering or you should have msc in uh, basic sciences statistics mathematics or btech in engineering but if you are only btech you know you can directly go for phd you must be knowing that if you are only btech or if you are msc and then you want to go directly for phd you need to have gate score i think somewhere it is mentioned also yes a valid gate score is required a valid gate score is required a uh, gate score is required if you are only btech or msc but if you are mtech or if you have done masters in engineering and if you are applying for phd you need not have gate score that is not required yes for mtech people only thing required is 8 cgpa normally general category ka bata raha hu normally 8 cgpa and thesis work research proposal good preparation for interview and written test they will call you for written test and interview you prepare very good research proposal that is what is required and obviously team your pda is guiding you for that how it is to be done so that is something which is required for india nothing else is required then you start getting the scholarship also and similarly this is iit bombay one of the department and similarly everywhere that situation is there those of those students who are from basic sciences like uh, you know basic sciences students those who have msc uh, msc and they have also done mtech uh, msc people also do mtech you know that after gate exam they go for mtech if they have done, done msc so those basic sciences chemistry physics biology biotechnology whatever if they have done mtech then if they want to go for phd again they do not require any gate score they can go for phd after interview they can also prepare for that so those who are msc after that they have done mtech or those who have done mtech after btech they can go for this and mca student also if they have done mtech mca student is equivalent to msc mca msc they need to do mtech btech needs to do mtech and then they can go for phd without gate score and there are so many students in india those who are very good in mtech they have very good cgpa in mtech and they can launch themselves to these kind of courses and let me tell you one more thing now because government wants very good researchers and uh, people with good uh, uh, research bent of mind because they want them to be faculty obviously so they uh, they have increased made this programs very lucrative like iit madras ki side pe agar tum jaoge to they have made phd as a basically uh, uh, exchange program they have made this a part of exchange program like when you are doing phd uh, in exchange program you go abroad foreign universities for couple of months and all and you stay there also those programs are also existing and uh, majority of my students who are doing phd in different iits Uh, during their phd tenure let's say 3 to 4 years they go two to three times abroad and that gives them exposure also and at the same time uh, opportunities also to pursue post doctorate fellowship over there or jobs over there these op options are existing so those all things are already existing but you should prepare this is the right time when you start looking for that and uh, i wanted to make this video to make you aware ki gate score tumhe nahi chahiye and take your phd you can go for that now uh, there is a google form attached uh, to this uh, video if you see uh, in the link there is a google form attached uh, only those student uh, fill the google form those who are serious to go for phd after mtech please because it is very difficult to segregate serious from non serious candidates so those of you who are already doing mtech 
but are not interested for phd please do not fill the google form but those of you who are serious and want further information about phd and further guidance about phd they only fill the google form those of you who are btech and want to go for phd then uh, this google form is not for them they are already uh, filling the google form separately which is already there so this google form is only for those students who are mtech or doing mtech and they are interested to go for phd please only those student fill the google form otherwise it is difficult for team europedia to segregate serious from non serious otherwise what is happening you suppose team europedia some mentor calls you say no no sir i just filled the form i was not interested it waste your time also our time also only serious candidate who are interested for phd they fill the form fine so just prepare for that and this is a good really good opportunity okay thank you